Hey guys, Isaac here, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to install and run the V6 Supercharger script. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is to actually download the V6 Supercharger script. So let's do that. I'm gonna say V6 Supercharger. Nope. Super charger all right pick any xda developers uh, thread and there you go this is my buddy zeppelin rocks right, as you can see this is a huge thread so at the top of this there's a link to the main download page and the latest v6 superchargers so let's go ahead and click on the black dog that's the latest V6 uh, supercharger at the time of shooting this video. And there's the black dog. Here's the change log and everything. And there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that to download it. Alright, now it's downloading. It's downloading as a PDF file. We're gonna rename that to sh as in uh, shell script. So let's go ahead and open up a file explorer. Go to downloads or download let's copy that to somewhere i could actually know what it is so let's make a new folder called v6 all right there's a v6 i'm gonna paste my script here and rename it to dot sh because that's a script and to upload to xda he had to upload it as a pdf file for some uh, I guess because of some size restrictions or something. So let's go ahead and download from the Play Store an app called Script Manager. Alright, there it is. I've already downloaded it. Uh, by the way, I'll link both the thread uh, and this uh, this app on in the description down below. So let's open that, that app and go to V6 and hit the super Supercharger script. Now be sure to tap that SU icon and be sure not to tap the boot icon. So let's run this as root, then hit run. All right, now this is the first screen, it's uh, doing some tests, and this is the script boot animation, if you want. It's saying touch the screen to bring the soft uh, keyboard. So there it is. It's asking me if I'm using uh, the Tesla Coil SW launcher, which is the Nova launcher. So I'm going to hit yes. This is my launcher. So right now it's saying that I'm uh, a first, uh, first timer supercharger. I should go to, through the scripts uh, configuration. So let's press enter and go directly to driver options as Zeppelin Rocks uh, likes to call it. Alright, so now it's backing up the original configs of my phone so that if I want to um, revert back, it can it can do so. And it's now asking me the scroll speed options. One is fast, two is normal, three is slow. There's a hidden option that is zero. Zero is none. It's actually uh, much faster and gets the speed of the actual CPU. So let's hit enter and make things faster all right so now it's asking me if i want to modify the kernel panic if i uh, hit h if it's gonna uh, it's it's never gonna reboot on panic so i'm gonna hit none and keep the stock kernel configs right here it's asking me if if i want to uh, enlarge the entropiness so i'm gonna hit yes so here there's the system proprietary accessory tweaks which is a uh, some tweaks based on my my total RAM. So I'm gonna hit yes for that to tweak my uh, my RAM for better performance and battery savings. This is the add-on to uh, the 3G turbocharger script. I'm gonna disable the 3G tur turbocharger enhancement because I don't want to use it. The SD read uh, read speed tweak or the NAND uh, speed tweak because I have an XS4, I don't have an SD card. I've already modded this manually through the kernel configurations, so I'm gonna hit no. 
if I want to bulletproof some apps here I'm gonna hit yes and look for the apps and search for its PID and bulletproof them bulletproofing an app prevents it from being killed by the OMK so I'm gonna hit no I don't want to bulletproof anything the engine flush automatic option is a uh, scheduled flush which means it kills everything and frees up all the RAM periodically you'll set how much uh, how many hours you want the intervals to be I love my multitasking so I'm gonna hit no so here is asking me if I want to enable detailing detailing is uh, uh, it's like flushing the SQLite da database and then rebuilding them making them smaller and more organized so I'm gonna hit yes detailing runs every three boots and won't affect the boot time run detailing on boot yes how often uh, do you want to run every boot to every ninth boot so I'm gonna hit three so that it can uh, run the detailing every three reboots fix alignment is uh, the zip align of apps i'm gonna hit yes i want to zip align run fix alignment on boot yes disable the v6 animation at the start of the script i am so so sorry zeppelin rocks i'm gonna have to say yes because i don't like waiting for that boot animation i am so sorry Alright, so press any key to return to driver's console. And it's suggesting I, I use the uh, super min free calculator settings, which uh, changes the OMK values uh, to a super one. I'm gonna hit yes for that. And it's now modifying the min free or the OM killer. And there it is. It's finished. It's done. I scream SUPERCHARGED! Alright, so one thing I'm gonna show you is there, I don't, I don't know if you're seeing this, it says 75% supercharged. Because I can't get to 100% because I'm on KitKat, uh, because I'm on Android KitKat. One of the things, one of the bad things of KitKat actually is that the supercharger can't run uh, to its uh, full potential. Because really bulletproofing uh, the launcher needs to needs uh, some uh, services.jar uh, tweaking so we can't do that yet on KitKat. But it works pretty well on Jellybean and on ICS I think. So anyway if you want to change uh, your OMK you can hit right there. You can hit 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. Uh, 2, 3, 4 if you have 256 megabytes of RAM, 512 for 567, and 268 plus 89. I usually do the 9 because I have 2 gigs of RAM and this is for uh, 1000 horsepower or 1000 megabytes of RAM. 16 bulletproofs the apps, and 33 uh, super cleans and restarts, which uh, wipes the Dalvik cache and reboots. So now it says at the bottom, did it work? Read above messages after reboot. So now I'm going to reboot the phone and see if the V6 supercharger works. So let's see the menu. Um, 32 reboots the phone. So I'm going to hit 32 and then enter. And there it is. Now it's rebooting. Alright, so it booted now, but I'm going to keep it on for about five minutes so that everything can settle all right so i suppose it's settled now let's open up script manager go to v6 and run that script hey hey baby supercharge your way watch your launcher rip lags keep away all right so press the enter key after some tests Alright, so reading the messages, I can see that I lost 25% because services.jar uh, uh, ADJs are not patched in, and and I lost uh, and I lost 25% because uh, there's no supercharged launcher, and both of them aren't available in KitKat yet because Zeppelin Rocks is being such a lazy person. Alright, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway, the most uh, you can get is about 50% and that's on KitKat.
on ICS and or Jelly Bean you can get up to 100% and that's about it for the V6 supercharger script let's hit 34 and exit the script there it is return 0 everything is good thank you all for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it please press the small me at the top right of this video and maybe hit the subscribe button if you like again I'm Isoc and I'll see you soon